Hi guys, so it's that time of year again and we're going to be putting up our Christmas trees. So what I'm going to do for the videos is I am going to go through and I'm going to show you how Brendan and I put up our Christmas tree. Generally most of the trees that we get, we get ones that don't have any lights on them because we like to put our lights on ourselves because we put a lot of lights on them. Um, a couple of years ago I bought these um, string lights. There's 2,000 lights on one um, strand and they're pretty good lights. They're all LEDs. And so we put them on this nine foot tree, but we want it to be a little bit taller. So we built a base for it, which you can see right down there, which gives it another foot. So it makes it about 10 feet, which is good for a couple things. One, we run a rumba through the house because of the dog hair. And the rumba messes with the, the skirting every single year. So we're gonna do it this way so we can go underneath and around it and still clean up all the dog hair and not mess up the tree skirt. And so we're going to put the nine foot tree on there. And the other thing that I do like is that I can't find a really tall, skinny tree. If you get up to 10 feet or 12 feet, they get so big around. And I like the skinnier trees, but I like them to be nice and tall. So this one is perfect scenario on that. The other rooms, we're going to put one in the master bedroom and we're going to put one in the guest bedroom. And those um, have different themes on them. So we're going to decorate all those trees. Um, but I'm just going to show you this one because we do them all pretty much the same. And then after when I'm all done, I'll just go through each one of them with you and show you how we put the lights on them. Because the lights are a little bit different, but putting them on the same way. But we're going to show you on this one how we do it, how we fluff the tree, how we put the lights on it. Um, and we're going to put this thing on. This is a new one. This is a umbrella light that goes at the very top. So when we put the, uh, all the decorations up top, um, this will have lights in that. So it should be a pretty cool spray on top. I've never done this one before, it's pretty new. We just got these at um, a Christmas store in Arlington, Texas. It's called Decorators, um, decoratorswarehouse.com. And you all need to go and look on it online. If you like Christmas decorations, it's a 60,000 square foot store of nothing but Christmas. We had so much fun in there. We got lights on the, uh, these bulb lights that we put on the dining room Christmas tree and I'll show you that one later. But anyway, we're gonna get started on this. Brandon and I are gonna put the base on this. We're gonna fluff the tree, put lights on it and we're gonna show you how we do it together. Um, it's a pretty good tag team so you guys are gonna love like this. So when we do this, I like to fluff the tree one layer at a time. And so we fluff the, the one layer and every other branch has three stems that come off it. So we pull those apart and fluff them out and it just fills out the whole tree. And then once we put the lights on, we go up and down the uh, branches. That way when the, lights, when the lights are not on the tree, you won't see the, the, uh, the wiring as it goes all the way up because it's gonna go up and down the branches. Plus you can get a whole lot more and you can light it from the inside out and it's much brighter.
Okay, so got the lights on the tree. Um, this umbrella thing that we did, this said it was warm lights. And those are warm lights, but they're two different warm lights. So that's not gonna work on that tree. Um, we have one in the dining room. We're gonna put a smaller one on. Those are a lot more of the cooler warm lights, I guess you could call it. There's so many different colors now you can, that you can get. Anyway, so that's not gonna work on this tree, but I really think there's enough lights on this anyway. Um, this is gonna be actually decorated like um, the garden tree that I was telling you all about with all those hydrangeas and stuff. But that's another day. We're gonna finish up and we're gonna do some more of the trees. Um, we've got four trees total to do, two are done. Um, once they're all done, I'll show you all and give you a run through of what we did and the colors that we put on there. And then we'll go through one day, we'll decorate them and I'll give you another tour of all that. Anyway, hope you're all having a great day and I'll talk to you in a little bit, bye. Hey guys, okay, so we have all four trees up. Um, they're all fluffed and we have the lights on them. Um, on a bunch of them, we, what I thought I would do is just go through the trees with you, um, show you the lights that we put on them, the colors that we put on them, and what the tree is gonna be. And later on, I will go through and I will do a tour of the trees after they're all fully decorated. But I thought if I just went through these and showed you what my thought process was, it might be kind of helpful. So to start with, we have the living room tree. Um, this one is a nine foot tree that we put on a base. Um, I put it on a base for a couple reasons. One, so the rumble can get underneath it. And two, so it gives it a little bit more height. Um, I like tall trees, but the ones that we've had in the past that were over nine feet were really big around, and I didn't like that. I wanted to be skinny around the, butt, the base of it, but tall. So this was my solution for having a taller tree but not have it be so big in the bottom. So on the first tree, this is the one that we all did together the other day. We did it with a whole bunch of small um, LED warm lights. After it was all done, um, I thought it needed a little bit more color for what I was planning on doing with it. So this is what we ended up coming up with. Um, I put red lights on along with the cool lights. This tree is going to be decorated like um, garden, um, outdoorsy um, kind of a theme to it. And I thought the red gave it kind of like a little bit of a, like berries on the tree. Um, so that's what I went with this one with the cool lights and uh, the red lights. So again, this one's gonna be done in a garden theme, um, which we'll be doing a little bit later with some dried stuff. And this is where all those hydrangeas are gonna go that we did earlier. So coming around this way, this is gonna lead us, hope this isn't too fast. This is gonna lead us into the guest bedroom. Um, in this room, um, this tree is a white flocked tree. And this one I put on nothing but vintage ornaments. Um, we put it here in the, uh, the guest bedroom because it's the safest room in the house with the dogs. Um, their tails will wipe out the bottom of any tree with ornaments on it. So in this tree, um, they don't generally come in here that much. And so um, we can put it, we just fill it with um, the vintage ornaments. And this tree is just white lights. That's all I put on there because I wanna emphasize the um, vintage ornaments. And there's a lot of space in between the branches, which I love because then we can just fill this thing up with nothing but those vintage ornaments. And so this one is just um, the white lights. And of course, there it goes. So there's just all the white lights on it. And it's just a pretty flocked tree. Um, nothing spectacular about the tree itself. It's just that when those vintage ornaments are on there with all those colors, it just looks so good. I just love it. So, Coming out of this room, we'll go back down and we will go into the dining room. In the dining room, this tree is another um, taller tree, but I found this one this year, which made me so excited because like I said before, I love skinny trees. And this one is a nine foot skinny, skinny tree, which fit perfect in the dining room. You can still get around the table 
Whereas before you really couldn't, but now you can. So this one um, is done in a blue and white um, theme. So we have a lot of uh, uh, mercury glass, um, silver, white, blue ornaments on it. Um, it's real pretty. This year when we went to uh, that decorator's warehouse that I was telling you all about in uh, Arlington, Texas, they had some cool lights on it. And I'll show you in a second are these little white ball lights. And they're so much fun because they just stick out on the sides. And so they, uh, they just pop. So that's what this one is. So on this one, I have the little white lights um, that actually came on the tree. I didn't put any extra on this one. And, but I did put all those little white ball lights on there. And if you could just kind of see, it has a faint um, blue lights on it, which I think just goes really, really well with the theme of the whole silver, um, white and, and um, blue. So that's a real pretty tree. I'm really excited about uh, decorating that one. That one is actually gonna have the umbrella star put on top of it. Whereas if you remember right, we tried to put it on the one in the uh, living room um, but the lights didn't match. I think they will on this one, um, but they didn't on that one. So we didn't do it on that one. So coming down the here in the living room, um, this comes to uh, the master bedroom. And then this one, um, this one is more of a traditional style tree. And so it's just done in um, just a lot of just um, ornaments that I've collected over the years uh, and so it's kind of a fun just a family style tree so on this one it's done with um, the white lights and the colored lights so this one just has a whole bunch of just um, color lights on it and for me I think this is just real traditional um, it doesn't have way too much um, of the colored lights on it but it has just enough to accent and just set the tree off the majority of the lights on all these trees are either the white lights or the warm lights and then they're just accented with colors so like this one has just multi colors on it whereas the living room had red and the dining room had blue and it kind of just separates them all anyway so that's what we did for our christmas trees this year for putting the lights on them um, again i'll take you along as we decorate them and show you how that process goes uh, so I hope this was helpful. Um, I hope that you're all having a great day and I will talk to you in the next project.